How's it going everybody? Today's episode, we are going to be going, me and the kids here, and we're gonna be getting all of the structure part to build our greenhouse. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to build a greenhouse out of just about anything. There are three common ways to make a greenhouse that I know of. One is with glass, two is with polycarbonate panels, and the third way is to use clear poly tarp. Polycarbonate is expensive, glass is even more expensive. So we're just trying to get this done down and dirty fast. The This is the episode about how to build a greenhouse out of anything. Can't really do it out of anything, but you can do it with those three things. There might be something else I'm unaware of, but those are the main ones I know of. Now you could build a structure out of basically anything. You could use wood, you could use you know, conduit, you could use metal pipe, you could, you know, anything you can build like a shed with, you could build a greenhouse out of. There's kind of two steps. One is the structural part, and the other part is what are you going to sheet it with? How are you gonna make it so the sun can come in, and yet the air, the hot air doesn't get out of it? So anyway, we're gonna walk over here and start taking that all apart, and then we are going to bring it back over here to our house, and that's gonna be step one, getting all the pieces this is going to end up being probably a three or four part series to do all of this. Look for the future episodes. Where's brother? Right there. No, the other brother. Oh, you want a desert house. Uh, you want our house. Come on, Augie. Can you go get brother Lawrence and tell him he needs to come over here, babe? Yeah. Can you do that? No, nope, Augie, you come this way. Come on. There he is. Lawrence is going to be the tool boy since he has his bike. He doesn't know that yet. Hey, August, what are you doing? Hey, yeah. 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 He said, Grandpa, where's Grandpa? Grandpa hiding. We are going to end up using both of these structures. And I talked about that in a previous video. We are gonna to try to use both of them. So we have a rather large, it's basically just gonna be a high tunnel, hoop house, greenhouse, whatever you wanna call it. This is the first one we have to take apart. We'll get this one done. And then we're gonna do this one. All right, Lawrence, step Numero uno is we need to loosen up these straps here. So go to the other side. They're just a ratchet strap. So just loosen them out and pull them out. How did you do that? There are no straps on this side. Really? Okay, get them on the other side over here then. Well, maybe there's only one on this side. Baby, no fighting over the camera. Okay, Lawrence? Yeah? Okay, we need a knife. So go get a knife. Okay. What kind? Like a razor blade? Uh, if you ha can find a utility knife, great. If not, any of your knives will work. Okay. We're going to cut this tarp off. Okay. And then... Looks like we need a half inch, uh, we need a half inch socket or a half inch wrench. My dad asked for a half inch wrench. Luckily I was working on my bike here just the other day, looking for a wrench about the same size. So I had to find couple of wrenches and I found a half inch. So it should be right in the wrench bin here. Another thing I was just working for my dad, um, putting in insulation over here in the house. So I know right where a razor blade is because I used that on the windowsill. So I got the wrench here and the razor blade. Now I'm gonna go get it back to my dad. Let's see, we might be too big. These might be three-eighths. Yep, 
Three eighths? I think they're three eighths. I don't know where that is. Or maybe smaller. Well, look in what the uh, a, tool a piece of wood? bin. I did. Okay. Well, acorn. The, the, acorn. <laughs> Don't I got a full set of wrenches there, so if it's not there, somebody I didn't. I didn't. moved it. I don't want to come loose. Kind of weird, huh, Dad? Oh, there's like a weird... Look at that. Yeah, look at that. There's like a double side here. Huh. Do you care if I cut this? The answer is yes. He wants it saved. It's literally that one piece is bound in. So... If you look, this is cut sideways in there, see? See how it's like bent in there? It's gonna have to be pried out somehow. I kind of think that I'm gonna use this tarp, which is torn up, but it'd be perfect for using in the garden. So I think we'll put that down over the beds so we don't have to worry about weeds. All right, well, Lawrence is going to get the proper wrench and it's time to get to work. We're gonna take the skin off of this and then take it all apart, get it loaded up, and I'm gonna to try to get both of these done before it gets dark. We'll see if I can get it all done. Look at the sandhill cranes. Should I go try to get close to them? No, they're already agitated. Well, this is a downside to having long hair. Never really had long hair before. I had my grunge phase. I got my hair got pretty long during the Nirvana era, which I'll be completely honest with. I'm like on the real young side for that, but I was still really into Nirvana while Kurt Cobain was alive. So, hey, anyway, and I grew up my hair. But outside of that, I've never had long hair. And yeah, you let the dog out. Yeah. Pixel. Anyway, your hair gets caught and stuff when you work when it's long. I don't like that. H hand it to me, sweetheart. Let's go. Is it just my children that don't know how to hurry up? Or is that all children? Is that just you? Maybe. Or is that all kids? <laughs> Way to not throw anybody under the bus there. I think we'll definitely be able to salvage part of that. So that's good news. You carrying pieces? Yep. Come on, Pixel. In the truck. Come on. Come on. Get in the truck. In the truck. In the truck. Keep her in there. Get the last few pieces over here. See if I can get all this in one go. Yeah, I got it. Mostly. Well, thanks for helping, Dad. You're welcome. Appreciate it. He had to come with. My, me, me. me and Miles, my pan is burning up on the stove and my veggies haven't been chopped yet. He made me bring him out to you. What? You go in the truck? Yeah. Okay, okay get in the truck. And then I'm gonna come over and steal these tarps away too and right. use them for basically weed control in the in the garden beds yeah. so that should work great yep 
And can I reuse those? Yeah, I just didn't want them dropping out of the road. You know, pick up one of those in a tire. Yeah. What's wrong with my eye? Yeah. I have a piece of hair in it. Just your hair in your eye. Yeah. That's the only problem. You need to figure out how to do this long hair business. I know. I was actually saying. Oh, I know how it would work. How's that? The long hair business? Yeah. Just the scissors. <laughs> eh. And he says he doesn't care that I have long hair. I don't. Right. I don't. Right. Career military man right well, there is what that is. People were saying that if you, right, if you, um, if the stylists, if they go to your house to cut your hair right now, they can get their license revoked. Really? I don't know. It is. Speakeasy for haircuts. Hashtag speakeasy for haircuts. Speaking of the all things quarantining, we actually had to go run to an area that was kind of a hot zone to do an errand the other day, and you'll probably find it somewhat interesting, so I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, well, we made it over here. This is a bigger city, not not the Twin Cities, but it's, I don't know, 80,000 people or something like that live over this way. So this is where our bank is. This is sort of the epicenter of the virus that's closest to us so we are taking precautions sarah's gonna go in and we're gonna use a mask just because the atm is like in a really enclosed space so given what everybody says about how long this stuff stays in the air we're gonna wear a mask sarah's gonna go make a deposit all right ready yep do you remember how to do it it's been a long time Gotta get them both over my head, right? Yeah. Below, up top. I had to take a class on it once. I actually did. did Seriously. You? Yep. Yeah. For yeah. respirators. There you go. And crimp. All right, you're good to go. Is that a sexy look? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Little man thinks that's funny. Here I go. Right. Hold on, buddy. Your money, buddy. Mommy. Mommy's just depositing money, right, baby girl? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got that done. Wasn't that crazy, wearing the mask and everything? That city outside of Minneapolis is like one of the key sort of places where this, where the virus is kind of going crazy. I didn't, I didn't want anybody going in there if they weren't masked up, especially in that confined little space where a bunch of people are using an ATM to take cash out or make deposits. Like, that ah, just sounded not good, so. So we have a ton of things to do Somebody was going to try to get out of the truck by himself. Is that what you were going to do, August? Yeah. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that though, are you? Oh. Yeah. We have a ton of different things going on. So tomorrow I need to take measurements and get my tarp ordered and get that shipped here, the poly, uh, the greenhouse fabric or whatever it's called, the poly tarp. And I need to get the wiggle channel that we're going to be using on the sides. We, we can start planting now. We need to get like tomatoes planted now, peppers, onions could start going now and get those seeds started. Can you say subscribe? Yeah. He said subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. That was, he said subscribe again. Yeah. We're just calling it subscribe. Maybe it's subscribe, maybe it's not subscribe, but we are calling that a da. subscribe. Da. Subscribe? Da. That's subscribe too. He's just telling you to subscribe crazy. All right, until next time, see y'all later.